they are successful. Um, when you have a son that comes back home with a report sheet and then um, in the whole entire class performance, back to back, he came uh, with a second position. Would you just uh, look at that child that he didn't do well? So for me, Man United are, are, are successful this season. They performed very well for me. I, I will consider, I even consider their coach as, as an average coach because he has been there at this is third season. So I, I have expected him to build that team to a fair into that team that is solid. So you uh, going second in the in EPL and losing to Villarreal in final, I will consider him as a failure because he has chance to build that team. Uh, Pep Guardiola did not have three seasons to win the league. He didn't have three seasons to be in Champions League. He was in Champions League semi-final last season. So if he cannot win Europa League, Europa, not even, he seems supposed to be winning EPL now. If he cannot win Europa now, that means he's an average coach, even below average to me. Ah, well, I don't really, I can't really talk about much about mine because, but in a way, it depends on who is seen it, Shab. But for me, I think I would say it's, it's, it, it was successful, fairly successful because Getting as far as um, to the finals of the UEFA um, Champions, um, UEFA Europa League, it's it's something. Then also coming second in a league that is so competitive as the Premier League, it's something too as well. Because I I, I used to tell some Man U fans that if Chelsea had actually find itself as second on the table before we sack Lampard, I don't think Chelsea would have sacked Lampard. So being second in the Premier League with what Man U had as in their squad, I think in a way fairly successful. Oh, Manchester United can never lose the Europa League final. They've done it before against um, Ajax. Manchester United won 2-0. They're still going to do it again tonight. 2-0 core score with my boy scoring the first goal, Bruno Fernandes. Mm, Champions League winner. Definitely Ma Manchester City 2-0 core score. Man City is the more bigger side. In terms of players, in terms of coach, I give it to Man City. Number one, I'm a Chelsea fan. Number two, we are we are going to win two nil. One zero in first half, one zero in second half. We are going to surprise everybody. Or penalty, we are going to surprise everybody. We are going to win. I'm sure of it. <laughs> wow, I think uh, Man City is going to win the Champions League for a lot of reasons. Um, they've never won the Champions League before. And I also know that uh, I think they have a formidable squad compared to Chelsea right now. Their confidence is so high. I know Guardiola, I know, I know his class he has done it before with Barcelona, Bayern Munich. And I, I think he's still going to do it again for Man City this time around. And besides, um, a kind of, you know, the rivalry between Arsenal fan and Chelsea fan in England. So I, I, I'm going for Man City because uh, I have a whole lot of friends, even my own younger sister that's a Chelsea fan, so it's a way of mocking them, but if they lose the Champions League. <laughs> uh, definitely I'll go with my team, definitely I'll go with my team, Chelsea should win it. <laughs> what, what, what do I think about the match, like, um, well, Chelsea, first and foremost, Chelsea is my team, so I should support my team, that's one. And two, Man City have actually defeated Man City twice this season, with this same coach that is going to take us to the Champions League final, so I still have that belief that we are still going to win. Yes, I will. Because by the time you look, when you look at the stats, we check games that he won and the one that he lo lost. He lost few games and he won, he, win, he won some games more. You understand? And he scored a lot of goals within that short period. He scored more than 60 goals. And he considered less than 7 goals or 8 goals. You understand? So we consider him to be, to be successful because the, even it has they gave him that he should qualify for Champions League and has already achieved that. So going to the UEFA Champions League, nobody expected Chelsea to be in the UEFA Champions League final. So he has done, he has done that. So kudos to him. Mm, yes, yes, yes. He has been successful based, based on me looking at from Lampard. Lampard was struggling with the players. But with Tuchel, Chelsea are beginning to get their rhythm back. Yes, yes. Giving Tuchel, Thomas Tuchel, one more season or two, Chelsea will, will, will be very strong. Um, well, I will still count him as being successful because um, at, 
when we appointed um, Tuchel as our coach, we never believed that we were going to go to the Champions League final first to start with. Even the FA Cup, we didn't really believe that we were going to get to the fi um, FA Cup final. So at least finishing the top four is the major aim first, and of which we got it. Whichever way we got it, at, at, at the end, at least we got it. That's the most important thing for us. Of course, um, he's a very good coach. For him to, uh, 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 you know, take over the job from uh, Lampard and then um, qualify for the FA Cup uh, final. Also, um, um, he qualified for the Champions League, came top four in England, and also qualified for. I think that's 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 a very good season for him as a coach, and I think um, um, he has the class, so I, I I give it to him.